Welcome to the Trend Talk. We are your hosts, Maravina Jaimes and Val Hernandez. Today we'll be talking to Patricia Ray. You know her best from the award-winning film, Maria Full of Grace. She's been on other films and television shows, including The Big Wedding and Chuck, but she is now on a new CBS legal drama, All Rise, where she plays Judge Abigail Delgado. Let's take a look. I'll be honest, I'm disappointed. I was looking forward to a battle. Talk to me. Your Honor, the defense and I have reached an agreement. A plea deal, Miss Bell? Really? You had a previous verdict overturned in order to plead. New evidence has come to light, Your Honor. I should hope so. The defendant will plead guilty or no contest and 190.2A4. He'll be sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. Miss Bell, are you with us? Mr. Koch, rebuttal. I... No, Your Honor, I'm Sit good. Sit down, Mr. Koch. The gun is excluded. And that takes us to recess. So, so wonderful to have you. Thank now, you. Let's get started with your um, life, actually. We'll go, we're going back to Queens, where you grew up. Oh, um, yeah. We're doing theater, and then you decided you wanted to get the bigger roles and more roles. So you came out to L.A. You landed some major big ones. Uh, yeah. That I've mean, talked about Mar Maria Full of Grace. Um, but you also worked alongside Robert De Niro and Diane Keaton. And presently, you are finishing the season uh, on All Rise as Judge Abigail Delgado. Tell us about that experience. How was it playing a judge? Um, I never played a judge before. Um, I, when I went I got the notice for the casting. My agent sent it in and I was in the middle of shooting. My husband and I are filmmakers. He's a writer, director. And we were in the middle of shooting this film called Beyond Paranormal, a horror thriller film. Um, and I, I play a, like a clairvoyant in it and I couldn't, I couldn't make the audition. You know, I was shooting that day. So I told my agent, you know, I, I can't do it. You know, I'm producing this film. We have a lot of money invested in it. Um, so I passed on the first call. Then the call came back in because they couldn't find anybody. And so I'm like, oh, you know, I wasn't really in that headspace, the auditioning headspace. And plus, I never played a judge before. So I was like, oh, my God, where am I going to get this? authoritative character from so it's just like you know i'm from new york and if i was a judge in new york i wouldn't take any bs from anybody right so i grounded her in this really like no nonsense space and so when i went into that and i made her very very tight like very minimal movement doesn't give anything away you know really holds her energy very poker faced. Went into the audition. Um, Rebecca Mangieri was casting at the time, and I did my my first take, and she literally jumped up and down, and she high fived herself. Oh. And she went, <laughs> I'd never seen that before, and she went, "That's it, that's it. Just do it one more time and do it faster." And I'm like, "Whoa, faster? Okay." So I did it and then I did the second scene and um, I left and I walked out and I was like, wow, okay, um, I might have booked that, which is going <laughs> to be a problem because I'm shooting. <laughs> well, congratulations. <laughs> I love watching a strong Latina play, a strong character, uh, and you're doing an amazing job as the judge. But I have to tell you something. Um, you and I have worked on commercials together. And oh my God, together. yes. Forever. But I have to tell you, right now when Hollywood production basically has grinded down to a complete halt, yes. you work on a show that, I mean, has actually created history with its uh, insistence to carry on. I want you to tell us all about the virtual finale of All Rise and what it was like to do that. Well, you know, we were all sheltering in place and it, I had a COVID-19 birthday, <laughs> April 9th, and I was a little depressed because- Happy belated birthday. Happy thank birthday. you, thank you ladies. <laughs> so I was a little depressed because not only was I having to celebrate a birthday at home without my family, but um, also I was booked to um, shoot a double episode season finale of All Rise, which 
disappeared. So I was like, you know, trying to keep myself positive. I'm a Reiki healer, so I'm, you know, putting out Reiki and doing group Reikis on virtual television. And on my birthday, my husband said, what do you want me to make you? And he made me a paella. And I was like, mm, it was delicious. And that day I get an email from my agent and she goes, I can't believe this. They're going to shoot a virtual episode of All Rise and they're putting you on a veil. And I'm like, what? Oh my God. It was like the universe. You know, when you stay grateful in your heart and you just keep going forward and be thankful for the things that you do have. And the universe like sent me this, like, hang in there. You're going to be okay. Wow. And it was just amazing. It's so a wonderful story. Yeah. And then they, you know, and then the whole process of like, you know, um, we to do the virtual table read with everybody, the heads of CBS, the heads of Warner Brothers on like different pages, because there was like 45 people on Zoom. And so we only saw the people that were in the table read and then they would lock the other people out. They could see us, they could hear us, but we couldn't see them. And so that process was amazing, you know, trying to figure out where we were going to shoot. Um, they did all kinds of like internet speed tests where, you know, you had to look up these codes and then you had to move around in the rooms and say, you know, did your speed work good here, good there? So they could figure out where each person was going to shoot my um, uh, internet boxes in my office. So that's where I ended up shooting. So. <laughs> We want to see you back in next season. Yes, we do. <laughs> and today, as I was getting ready for the trend talk with my beautiful friends, Marabina and Belle, I get, you know, I get IMDb Pro notifications on my phone. And because my um, IMDb page is attached to All Rise, I look up at the screen and it comes, scrolls down, says All Rise Season 2 Pickup. So yes, I was like, I love it what congratulations <laughs> yes so i can only come back if we had a season two so we had to pray for that first and now we have to hope that they they ask for me back well we're we're putting all that positive energy absolutely, out. absolutely. tell us about working with all these strong women and you know give us a give us a background on what, what goes on at absolutely all. well you know i've been doing television since i'm 19 so I've been doing series <laughs> television for a long time. And I'm going to tell you how many decades. But, you know, a lot of times when you work on these shows, the, the uh, stars, you're working on a show that, you know, that's been in production for a while. And people have their, their you know, energy and their kind of mojo. But this was a show where when, at the minute you walked on the set, everyone was just so grateful to be working and so open hearted and so gracious. Simone Missick is such a beautiful person in person, inside and out. Mark Helgenberger also very giving, very, really lovely. All to work. The other thing that was amazing is that the DPs, female camera operators, female, um, so many females behind the scenes in front of the camera. Jessica Camacho, also such a wonderful actress, very, very giving. Everyone on this show is just really genuine and so grateful, grateful to be working, open, you know, welcoming. I'd never experienced that in all my years in television. That was amazing. You mentioned that you were um, in production for the film that you and your mm -hmm. husband were doing. And that is wonderful. You know, you're creating your own uh, vehicles and you are starring in it. You're also, you also wrote it along. No, the I didn't write it. He wrote it. He's he the writer. It. Okay. <laughs> and, and your husband, Matteo Robato. Robato. Matteo Robato. Matteo Robato. So you're working on... Um, to a horror thriller called Beyond Paranormal, which is, sounds really cool. And then The Broom Street Boys, which you filmed with the late John Hurd. And yes. he, uh, people can remember him from Beaches and Pollock. So tell us about those two films. You know, what made you want to write a thriller? I had done a film a few years ago um, 
and now I can't remember the name of it. Sorry, I'm getting a brain fart. Um, it'll come to me. It was a thriller and I play a clairvoyant in it. And um, this woman could actually, um, you know, channel other ghosts, you know, energies. Um, so I did, a, I'm a method actress and I did a lot of preparation. And every time I he would come home, I'd be like in the middle of like a, oh, because she gets possessed by aliens. <laughs> so he would be like, and he's so superstitious and he's really, um, he has nightmares. And he, he would be like, stop, please. You're, you're making me, you're, you're making me so crazy. So he wrote a film based some on that premise, a writer who's got terrible writer's block and his actress get, is, um, she's a um, influencer and she gets cast in this horror film and she's a method actress and she's wants uh, her whole preparation for the role they want her to film it and live stream it mm. so that she gets more and more likes and uh and then you find out that part of the you know her process they sent her like this statue and this statue has a curse in it and so she curses them and it does not turn out well for them but it stars uh, courtney palm an amazing actress she's the lead she's uh from zombievers and ryan donahue who was in uh, cabin in the woods and oliver cooper who just did um uh, that show where he played um that killer sam son of sam he was wonderful in that and then and clint howard does a nice cameo for us so yeah uh, patricia we've loved having you on the trend talk thank uh, you so ladies <laughs> and let's uh, let's hope that uh judge delgado comes back for all right yes we'll yep. keep crossed we'll keep crossed <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on the Trend Talk. Don't forget to follow us. And remember, if it's trending, we're, we're talking. talking. <laughs>